Hi guys, welcome to our channel. If you're new to this channel, we're glad to have you here. And to all our subscribers, thank you guys for coming back and welcome. So for today's video, it's different. I'll be making simple yet very affordable backdrop. So for this particular video, I'll be making one for especially for gender reveal. All the materials that we use for today's video, it'll be in the description down below. So this one right here, as you can see in my back behind me is our backdrop stand. Now we will be using this and we have some DIY that we will incorporate with this just like this one. So this is actually a curtain rod, simple one. So I will just attach it right here and then I will hook this up using our 260 balloon or any tie that you can use right there to support. So I'll put this behind here just like that and then I will use this 260 balloon to tie it with and then put some more tape all right so as you can see I have my 260 balloon you can use this or tape but first I'm gonna use this and then pull support it with tape So I'll do the same thing on the other side, the opposite side. Alright, so there you go guys, it's already attached. As you can see, it's on the back side. Now I have this crepe paper right here. I already cut this. I measured it from here, going down to the floor. So basically, we'll put it here, and then we'll just have to tape them. Attach it like that. And attach tape or even if you have stapler or right, so just fold it like that and then pull tape okay then continue I will overlap like that I overlap so halfway like that so the overlap like that Alright, just like that guys, so just continue on until you cover the whole entire curtain rod. So we put the overlap so if it, there's a, a little breeze, some walk, you can't see the wall. If it does, doesn't, you know, it, it's just better to overlap them. It's really up to you. So you just let this hang straight, because later we'll raise this up. So just like that guys, keep doing and then to get to the end, okay? All right guys, we I found a new idea. Like I use glue stick, it's a lot faster. Just like that and it's more sturdier. Just like that. Instead of tape, use the glue stick. Just put right there and then just like that. So just like that, I'm just keep going until we get to the end. So now we're gonna cut some of the excess um, creep paper right here so it's not on the floor. So it'll just, just right on above the floor. There you go. All right, so this time it will cover this with our creep paper. Same thing using our glue, glue stick. We just have to put glue in there. To basically wrap the, wrap this with the paper so it's not gonna show and then just wrap this around your rod
This is actually optional, but I just want to cover the black rod. So you do this until you get to the opposite side. All right, there you go. So I already wrapped this top right here. And I will also wrap the bottom part of our backdrop stand. All right, so now we're ready to use our pink color, pink and blue, because this is for a gender reveal. Or if you have a different party, like for example, Christmas party, you can change it to either red or green, okay? And then white background. So again, we'll use our blue stick. I'll be sticking it right here. Once I glued it up there, you want to bring this down to here. So I'll leave it like that for now, and before I start, and then I'm gonna attach the glue on that side. All right, so now I have some pre-cut right here. I make it the same length as what we have here. So again, we'll be using our glue or glue stick so I will just continue on putting more of this color and then blue pink the same way here so just like as I said I'll come closer so put glue right on there and then stick this on top so I will do the same process we overlap a little bit So that's good for now, and then I'll continue on with the blue. Right there, so as you can see, it's kind of the same thickness. So I'll do the same thing on the pink. good all right guys so now it's all taped up or it's all glued up there it's attached so now we are going to attach this end right here to the side so to do that I have a 260 balloon you just have to put this on the side just so it's away from the area where you're gonna put the glue on okay so now I have my glue stick right here. We will bring this on this area. So first I will glue one of this here. Just like that. And I'm just gonna glue this on here. So here it is. The glue is on here, so I'll cut the extra piece. There you go, there's the first one right there. So you want this nice and flat. 
and do the same thing on the pink right here all right so we're ready to do the next um color so i will start off this time close to here so i know the gap this gap here you know you will do the same thing on that side on the bottom part so you can grab either each one or four at a time it's up to you so just so you know make sure this is nice and flat all right so there goes your gap We'll continue on to the next color so by the way um on each color right here we have at least between 12 to 15 strips of paper right there okay so you might be like if you want it like thicker it's up to you so you might have to use say like, either 20 or 25 all right so we'll continue on here So you want to make sure you have this gap right there. Alright, so there you go guys. This is already glued on to the base. So now we'll do this side. We're going to that side. Okay, so we'll release this. All right, so now we'll put this here from here. We're gonna go under, behind this. Over and under, like that. So again, we wanna make sure this is nice and flat. Anyway, I'll start off with the one closest to the side. So just like this. So now we'll work on the next one right here. Blue. So the same thing, you want this nice and flat. So this time we're gonna go behind the blue.
looking good so far. So our last one would be that one. But as you can see, as you notice that we don't have enough room right here. So what we're gonna do is move those to that side and move this here a little bit as well. So the good thing about this, we have the white free paper. We can always move them backward and then just wrap this with more free paper. You can always move it like that. See how it moves. So we'll make room for the other pink. And free paper will stretch. So just like that. All right, so I moved it right here. I moved it backward and this side as well. So now there's a gap. So we will add white creep paper and cover the black rod that is showing. So we'll put this there, we'll glue this on. All right, there you go guys. This is our DIY backdrop and it's very affordable. It's easy to make and takes lots of patience. I know you can do this guys. So this is actually part one of two of this project. For the next vlog, I will show you guys how to decorate this with some balloons or whatever you can add on this particular backdrop. This is perfect for gender reveal. So if you wanna change the color like for different party or even Christmas party, you can have green and red with a white background. All right guys, thank you so much if you're still here. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. Once again, if you haven't subscribed to us yet, please subscribe to our channel, Femmum NY, and take care, have a wonderful day. Thank you, bye.